Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how meiosis halves the number of chromosomes in gametes. You should then be able to describe how fertilization restores the full number of chromosomes. We've already seen that normal human cells contain chromosomes that are in pairs. In a normal human cell, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. So this diagram shows a normal human cell. However, I'm only shown four of the chromosome pairs. This makes the diagram easier to see. Gametes, such as sperm and egg cells, contain single chromosomes, and I'm showing you a gamete here. As you can see in gametes, the chromosomes are not paired, they're single. So a human gamete contains 23 single chromosomes. So in this video, we're looking at how gametes are produced by meiosis. Now, I should point out that in some textbooks, you'll see meiosis broken down into a number of different stages. However, for the AQA specification, you only need to know the stages I'm showing you in this video. The first thing to remember is that meiosis only takes place in reproductive organs. In humans, that's the testes in males and the ovaries in females. So I'm showing you here a cell in the reproductive organ of a human. And again, remember that this only shows four chromosome pairs, but the actual cell will contain 23 chromosome pairs. In the first stage of meiosis, all of the chromosomes are copied like this. The cell now divides into two, and we can see that here. Now, both of these cells divide one more time, forming the gametes. And as you can see in the gametes, the chromosomes are now single, not paired. So if we look at the cell that we started with, we can see that the chromosomes were in pairs. However, in the gametes, the chromosomes are now single. In other words, meiosis has halved the number of chromosomes. Meiosis produces four gametes from one original cell. And each of these four gametes are genetically different from each other. Each gamete has different alleles, and we'll be looking at alleles in a later video. Okay, so as we've seen, meiosis halves the number of chromosomes and produces gametes. But what happens to these gametes? We're going to look at that now. I'm showing you here a gamete from a male and a gamete from a female, and you can see that the chromosomes are single, not paired. In sexual reproduction, these gametes join together like this. And scientists call this fertilization. Now, the key thing is that after fertilization, the cell now has the normal number of chromosomes. So, as you can see in meiosis, the number of chromosomes is halved, but in fertilization, the full number of chromosomes is restored. I'm showing you here a human sperm cell and a human egg cell. Again, both of these gametes have 23 single chromosomes. However, the fertilized egg contains 23 chromosome pairs. Okay, so what happens after fertilization? Now the new cell divides by mitosis, producing a clump of identical cells. Scientists call this an embryo. As the embryo develops, the cells differentiate, forming different cell types. In animals, these include nerve cells and muscle cells. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on meiosis and fertilization in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.